Yes, this is uh, Dan Cruz sitting in uh, a car in Michigan. Uh, I've been uh, working with Yosemiel in Ethiopia and uh, a couple other team members. Uh, we have been uh, interviewing three segments for our Red Sand Solar Generator. One of the things we find is that uh, Navajo Nation has 87,000 families with our, our off-grid. And uh, doctors have mentioned to us that... Uh, Diabetic patients are especially vulnerable without power for refrigeration of their medicines and uh, without refrigeration for fresh vegetables. So uh, also students, uh, children are not able to uh, study at night and do homework. And uh, there are other limitations as well. Older people not able to use TV to watch and games or so forth. Um, the SEMIL has been interviewing people in Addis Ababa. And has found that uh, most of the people there are, uh, he's interviewed businesses, small businesses that have experienced frequent brownouts and a lack of power uh, that affects their businesses. It makes it very costly when they have to start up generators and pay for gas. He's also interviewed uh, the National Electric uh, Utility and found out that 45% of the people are off grid. So not only do they experience brownouts, and this is common throughout Africa. So uh, we are in the process of, of interviewing some businesses in the United States. Uh, we've been with Peacock and several well drillers. And even though they are on grid, uh, many of them are demanded by the local governments to use solar power, even though solar panels are no, not green. And uh, in New Jersey and other places like that, small businesses, uh, manufacturing concerns, would benefit by using our system, which could actually create compressed air instead of electricity. Most factories run on compressed air. Thank you.